What is up, heroes? This is Minate Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we spent so much time, and I really need to, uh, really need to keep my episode lengths in check, so we're gonna be a little bit more conscious of that this time around. But we spent a lot of time in this chapter with Mr. Oshiro. We picked up the Pico 8 and had a really good time, although we ended on quite the sour note, and I realized while I'm talking about this, I should probably head over into this nicer music. And so it was a great mix of some really old school retro 8 bit. You know, uh, platforming with the Celeste minigame, per se, within the actual Celeste game. Which itself has been really fun. So we're gonna, we're gonna continue on with that. Oh, I almost was like... Whoa! Shout out to Celeste for when you're underwater, like, dampening the music. That is so cool. Alright. Now that we have checked out that area, we can finally go up here. I keep thinking I have a second jump because of that game. Oh, what? Did I not? I guess I didn't uh, effectively... <laughs> now I'm messing up the mechanics with uh, the Pico 8 mechanics. What's going on over here, man? Theo! Are you a guest here, too? Madeline, I'm so happy to see you right now. I'm all about spooky mysteries, but this is getting too real. Have you talked to Mr. Oshiro? I think he could really use some help. You think? He's a creepy old weirdo. I bet he's cleaning out a nook to hide our bodies as we speak. I'm gonna crawl through this vent. It's blowing cold air for, in from outside. Come on! Mr. Oshiro's in trouble. Or, Mr. Oshiro's troubled, but I don't think he wants to hurt us. He just needs to clean up this mess. I want to help him. Madeline, that's very sweet, but this is dangerous. We need to get out of here and call an expert on creepy old dudes. We aren't prepared for this. I think I can get through to him. Interesting, I'm looking at like the the text box colors slash texture, and it looks like it might be related to what clothing they're wearing. Go on ahead and I'll catch up with you later. So like Theo's has this like flannel background, right? Which kind of looks like it could be what shirt he's wearing. Man, you're more stubborn than my sister. I thought that was impossible. You can help us out, Theo? Take care of yourself. Thanks, Theo. I'll see you outside. And away he crawls. So there's definitely something up here. How, how did I know? But wait, now I can't do anything about it, though. Why can I not do anything about it? Huh? Really? All right, well, I guess that's a bummer, but I know it exists. Which is, I don't know, somewhat of a victory, I guess. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even see the thing down there. So I very clearly need to jump on here and then kind of hang on. I should probably jump over onto this side though. For the time being, how am I going to get over... Oh, I can't jump on that anymore? But the, the red stuff is still there. Oh, I see what I need to do. Ah, oh, darn. I need to... I need to actually dash to make it go up. Cool. Successfully obtained. Further down we go. Oh, wait a minute, actually. Okay, we're good. Kind of. Is there anything hidden from where the water's coming from? It doesn't look like it. Is this orange stuff coming out of the laundry machine? What is that? Does not look like good stuff. Why am I doing that? No, why did I do that? <laughs> why did I just like panic? Nice going. All right, now let's let's do this again. Not mess it up this time around. Okay. All right, I gotta time that a little bit better. It's moving a little bit more quickly than um, I had anticipated. Oh, 
Oh, there's a heart down there. Cool. All good to continue. I have 48 hearts. Is that... Is that... Counting all the ones I got from the Pico 8? I don't know. Regardless, I'm pretty sure that's the last bit of clutter we're going to need before we can get the key. Help out Mr. Oshiro with all this cleaning and then make our way out, presumably. Hopefully, right? Look at how clean and tidy the place is. We've obtained the key, and then the question is where... Oh, he's over there. He's waiting for us, anticipating our every move. <clears throat> there you are. You certainly have a knack for wandering off. It was tough, but I sorted everything out for you. The Celestial Resort Hotel extends its gratitude for your assistance, Miss Madeline. Of course, the staff had the mess under control. Of course they did. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> How humiliating. You must be eager to see your room. For some reason, Mr. Oshiro reminds me of Tingle from the Zelda series. It's just up the elevator and down the hall. Sure. What the heck. <laughs> Show me the presidential suite. It sounds lovely. You can just see it in her face, how excited she is. Now's your last chance, Oshiro. Don't lose her now. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay. What was that on the... Oh, is that this autosave icon in the lower right? Maybe? I don't know. There's something over here? No? Okay. Gotcha. So we're gonna have a fun little uh, wall jumping segment. I'm actually pretty excited. Cool. So we made it up here. What's going on over here? Theo! Theo! <laughs> Man, it's amazing here. I love that they put his uh, portrait upside down too. How's it going with El Creepo? I helped him clean up that huge mess, but he was kind of a jerk about it, and he still thinks he can convince me to stay. Madeline, seriously, my bad idea radar is off the charts on this one. You should get out of here. If I disappear now, Mr. Oshiro could have a meltdown. And maybe I can actually do something good, for once. Interesting, so Madeline's mentality is more along the lines of even if she's potentially in danger, she cares too much about the person that's putting her in danger to, to run away from it. Forget your karma, dude. I think that guy is going to melt down no matter what. You have to think about your safety. Theo, I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect you to listen. See you on the outside, jailbird. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we'll uh, keep heading on over. What's... Is there anything up here? No? Okay. Alright. So... Looks like we're gonna have to do this. Or rather, oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I can just wall cling at that point. Oh, that's not something I can stand on? That's right, it's in the background. So that was not how I planned to do it, and I don't know why it even happened in the first place. But it's, uh, whatever, I guess. I still have- why did I- why did I freak out? I still had my- my dash. And why did I do it differently there, too? I don't know, man. Weird stuff. Okay. We are all good, but we are dashless. Okay, <laughs> we made it through there. I don't know why I was having so much difficulty with that. Am I gonna have to make my way back here some for some reason? Oh, I don't really have a choice at this point. So not completely. However, I, I do need to watch where I land here.
Ooh, that was really close. That was really close. Alright, but we made it, so we're doing alright. I don't know why I didn't hang on. Because I really should have. Why am I not hanging on? I feel like the, uh, the Pico 8 trained me to not cling to walls. This is it, Oshiro! Your last chance! Your last chance to what? You already ruined it. Making a guest clean up your mess? She'll never stay. I, I feel like on one on the surface we're supposed to think, oh, he really wants her to stay, and that's like what he's talking about with his last chance, but maybe there's a, something more sinister underneath that he's really trying to attempt. No, she's still here. There's still a chance. <laughs> the presidential suite is the key. It will surely impress her. Huh? Get it together, Oshiro. Oh. It seems like his stress or whatever precipitates that red goo forming. Oshiro. That's not good. That's very not good. There you are, Miss Madeline. Follow me quickly. We're almost there. Interesting. That's that's a pretty interesting decision. Pretty cool. Okay. Wow, I timed that pretty poorly. Ah, I see. I see. Why didn't I just go to the wall and cling to it? Why didn't I do it? The world may never know. But I need a key to get up here. Looks like I'm gonna be heading this way. And... Is there a key this way? Or is there a strawberry this way? Looks like that's the key. There's clearly something over here as well though. Ooh, this is the B-side! Ah, oh, I messed up my timing just enough. I'm so curious to see what the, the B-side is like. Because I'm pretty sure the last time we tried to get a B-side segment or whatever, it was also like this. Where it was like switching back and forth between the blue and the pink blocks. Why, thank you. Alright, so now we can head up here. What's going on here? It's Mr. Oshiro's diary. The final entry appears to be decades old. As of today, the hotel is officially closed. Charlotte organized the staff for a farewell hike up the mountain. Most of us have never seen the summit. It seemed like a fitting goodbye, but when the time came, I couldn't bear to leave without looking around one last time. I told them to go on without me. I will catch up with them soon, after I double-check that everything is in order. I can't believe my time here is over. What am I going to do now? Perhaps I'll stay one last night, so that the hotel and I can have a proper goodbye. It seems like he never quite came to terms with all of that. Let's check what's down here. Ooh, we got ourselves two strawberries. Not one, but two. Count them two. Strawberries. Okay, at least it starts me here again. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna have to dash on top of this. Interesting. Again, that's a washing machine. It's not a platform for me to stand on. Why do I keep thinking that I can do that? That's actually pretty funny, though. Um, why did I not think to climb up that side when I was over there? Alright, well, I guess I can take that one for now. Oh man, almost. There we go. So we got both of those. What's over this way? Anything of interest? Doesn't seem so. 
How about over this way? Nope. Alright, then when back up we go. Through this door. And now, it looks like we can finally make our way back up to comfort our boy, Mr. Oshiro, where'd you go? This way? Can't be doing that to me, man. I'm trying to help you out here. Hmm. Where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, I see. There's like just enough to get by. Just like here as well. Alright, so we're gonna be making some cool jumps here. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. And the music goes quiet. Very clearly we are um, screwing it up for no apparent reason. Just because I'm curious and wanted to know what was up in that corner. <laughs> nice. Nice. This, this is the quality content you guys subscribe for. Because we all know that every single one of you watching this has subscribed. Am I right? Am I right? Alright, let's not mess around with it anymore. Here we are, our award-winning presidential suite. Truly, it is the very definition of rustic luxury. I'll stand back and allow you to soak in the majesty. I understand it can be a lot to handle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got the mirror. Fireplace, maybe? So, what do you think? It's, uh, it's beautiful. The furniture looks expensive. It's very spacious. The colors are elegant. I can tell you put a lot of work into it. Aw, oh, that's gonna mean the world to him. I knew it would impress you! Yeah. So, can I get on the roof from here? You imbecile, you're losing her! <laughs> oh, er, I almost forgot to mention. Valued guests such as yourself stay in our finest accommodations that have price. I don't want to stay. Please, Miss Madeline. Please stay. Mr. Oshiro, I've already been sidetracked too long. Oh no. Now we've got her to deal with? Madeline, sweetie, forget this loser. Loser? Oh no! You're in denial, old man. This resort is a dump. No! No, Dark Madeline, no! Don't do this to Mr. Oshiro! No one would ever want to stay here. Someone had to say it. She doesn't mean that. I... I'm very busy. Please leave, Miss Madeline. No! Come on, Miss Madeline, you heard the man. No! Why you gotta be like that, Dark Madeline? Where would you be without me? Interesting. Kind of indicating, you know, she's able to progress at the sacrifice of, well, Mr. Oshiro in this case. Why would she say my beautiful hotel is a dump? How dare she insult you like that? What if she's right? Oh man. What one mean comment can do to one person's psyche. There you have it. Well, I guess we made it out on top of the roof. I thought we'd never get rid of him. You owe me one. Add it to the list. Leave me alone. I thought you were so determined to keep climbing. Now all of a sudden you're some weirdo's therapist? Why won't you go away? Miss Madeline, before you go, I need to ask one question. Why would you be so nice to me, only to run away? What did I do wrong? Oh, give it a break. You still don't get it? She only helps people to feed her twisted ego. She never cared about you. What? Shut up. I just wanted to help. You're both pathetic. No. Pathetic? You only came here to humiliate me. I won't grovel at your feet any longer. No. You have a boss fight of some sort? Oh my. Well, that's a little bit different than I had anticipated. So the little lightning bolt or whatever indicates the intended path, I think. It makes sense that that's going to be... Um,
that there's gonna be a lot of red stuff going on. Oh wait, that's uh, red stuff that can kill me. Whoa. Oh, did he get hurt from hitting the red stuff, or what happened there? Very curious. I didn't quite get that. This is really neat, though, honestly. Ooh. How am I supposed to get all the way up there? We're gonna find out soon enough, I'm sure. Oh, I can jump on him! I think that's what we need to do, actually. Darn it. Come on. <laughs> that was an absolute fail. So we're gonna we're gonna try that again. Let's see here. Come on. Now I'm just getting to the impatient part. Where I'm just rushing through all the things I wasn't having difficulty with before. Patience is a virtue! Ah oh, man, it seems so unpredictable though. As to like when I'll actually get the height from that jump. Like I tried to jump on him there, but it obviously didn't work. There we go. Oh wait, no. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, okay. No, I ran right into that one. Wait, no, why didn't I cling? Sad face. Off we go. Ooh, I can't quite make it over there. It's close. If I had jumped on him up there, maybe I could, but otherwise, probably not. Like that! Exactly like that! I just wasn't ready for it. Darn. Let's try that again, actually, because that seemed pretty cool. Aw, oh, no, it's still not gonna work. Okay. I can rest easy now. Oh, what? I thought that was the same uh, timing as before to jump on him. I shouldn't have angled upward there. Oh, wait, no! I thought I was gonna land on it. That uh, did not turn out as planned. Oh, we were so close. We had made it. I should have just dashed to the side. What was I thinking? And again, why is the, all of a sudden I'm having such adversity with just clinging to walls. There we go. Okay, I just literally walked into the red stuff there. Anything up there? Doesn't seem so. Why? Why did I do that? And again, there I am just trying to cruise along. Okay, okay. I guess uh, we'll take that. Ooh. No! Take two. 
There we go. Is, are his attacks getting more frequent now? Or is that just me? I think they're actually getting a bit more frequent, but I could be wrong, obviously. Wait. <laughs> I thought I went all the way to the wall. I uh, very obviously did not. I love how the colors change and everything when he attacks. It's very, uh, very neat. For some reason, the like sound effect when he like dashes across the screen and everything, it reminds me of King Boo. I mean, not to mention, like, I guess his appearance at the moment does somewhat resemble King Boo. Let's take that easy for a moment. And open and over. Oh man. Okay, we're we're doing pretty well for the most part. Now the frequency is definitely going up. We made it over here. The final showdown. Mr. Oshiro, stop! Oh no. I just wanted to help! Don't do it! No! And down goes the hotel apparently now too. I've decided to close the hotel for repairs. The second floor plumbing is leaking. The library is complete in complete disarray. Not to mention the hole in the ceiling of the presidential suite. Please. Just leave me alone. No, we didn't want to hurt you, Mr. Oshido. We were doing what we could to help. That hurts. That hurts. Wow. What a what a graphic. It's Mr. Oshiro, and then behind the door you can see the red, like, goo. You know, it's talking about, like, his, his up front and letting people in and seeing what's really going on behind closed doors, literally. With all, like, the mental distress, anxiety, etc. As, as Celeste, not Celeste, um, Madeline moves on. Wow. So, we got 22 out of 25 strawberries. There was one on the outside of the mansion we saw at the very beginning of the mansion that we didn't get, unfortunately. But we also unlocked the B-side, so I think we're doing a pretty decent job with all of the collectibles thus far. The next location is going to be the Golden Ridge. So we've got the hotel, there was the old site, we're missing three strawberries from there. We're missing two strawberries from the Forsaken City. That's pretty neat. Let's see here. Oh, so the Pico 8 is here. Do I start from the beginning? Oh no, it's gonna start me from the beginning, again. Oh, you guys probably felt so frustrated. <laughs> you guys are probably so frustrated because I spent like 20 minutes of an episode just going through the beginning of this. And you guys were like, there's no way he's gonna go through the entire thing. Okay, well maybe if you guys indicate to me at some point in the future that this is actually like worthwhile to go through for all of its entirety, um, let me know and I'll, I'll do it probably because it was fun enough. And I don't think the beginning levels will be, or most levels will actually be that difficult for me, especially after having, you know, done them already once. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna exit the Pico Eight then. <laughs> I can't handle that right now. Let's let's start climbing the next chapter, the Golden Ridge. Climbing tip: low on energy in a pinch, jumping away from walls doesn't consume stamina. Wow, look at the scenery in the background. It's so beautiful. I love, I mean, yellow is my favorite color. And so this type of like a sunset is just utterly awe-inspiring. Oh, so if I time my jump on its like upward thing, I guess I can really uh, get quite a bit of air. I have the feeling I'm not going to uh, enjoy this mechanic as much. I wanted to see if there was anything down there. I was incorrect in thinking that there might be, but you know, for those of you that are watching much anime, I guess lately, Machikado Mazoku, this reminds me of the devil statue or the demon statue of the ancestor. It's pretty funny. 
What in the world is that? Huh? Oh, interesting. So it fires you in the direction, whatever direction you're holding. Is there something over here? Something over here? No? Okay. So many of my deaths are just going to be like from exploring random corners of the screen being like, just to make sure there's not something there. Oh, and you can even do one of like the eight directions, a diagonal. I see ya, I see ya. What's up here? Anything? Oh, really? Nothing? Okay, I guess not then. Water. Beautiful. How about up here? Ooh, that's where it was. Anything up there? No? Okay. How about up here? No? Who are you? Oh, great. You again. <laughs> well, well, I didn't expect to see you up here. How did you get here before us, old lady? I'm glad you're still in one piece. I see you made it through the hotel. Did you meet Mr. Oshiro? Oh, I met him all right. He chased me out of there after I cleaned up a bunch of junk for him. Oh, that sounds like a fun morning. It was a blast. Oshiro is a lost soul, dear. That place is much more than just a hotel to him. Don't make him your project. You know what I think? I think this mountain drove both of you crazy. You know, you're not the first person to say that. Maybe you're right. How would I know if I were crazy? It's a fair point. The way I see it, the mountain can't bring out anything that isn't already in you. Interesting, so it's like co coming to terms with yourself, reflecting and really facing your inner self. Even the parts of you you don't like. But you gotta be a few crows short of a murder to live up here in the first place, right? A murder, I believe, is um, the, the name for a pack of crows, which is actually really cool. What are you even talking about? Oh, I'm just rambling like the old bat I am. Ready to give up? I know a shortcut back to your car. Back off, lady. I'm heading for the summit. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between stubbornness and determination, isn't it? Ain't that the truth? You remind me of myself when I was young. Good luck, and mind the wind! Oh no, are we gonna have to deal with wind now? Not a big fan of wind physics. But that's... Okay, because we'll deal with whatever challenge. I love that we can, like, crouch jump into places. Oh, yes, we are. Will it always be windy? So... I'm going to have to really use my, uh... My boost or whatever. Very carefully. I want to uh, hang on to all of this. Okay. Is the wind going to pick up at any point? Hmm, I don't know. Oh! That was not what I expected. Interesting. Oh, wait, no! I thought that it was all just lined up pretty perfectly. Something worth noting is that once I do this, it actually um, replenishes my uh, double jump, which is really helpful. Okay. Oh, I see it's now teaching me that the pink ones go away. Cool, we got that one. Got plenty of wind here. Darn. I thought I was uh, accounting for the wind. In reality, I just over, uh, over accounted for it. Now it's blowing this way. So that's gonna make that strawberry relatively tough to get. Especially because I don't have my dash. So I think, how am I gonna go about, oh my. Oh, I know what I need to do. I don't need to really 
worry too much about this at all because I can just do this and that way I'll still have my uh, dash. Cool! So I gotta go up there and get that. Let's um... Cool. And with that we should be good, right? Oh wait, no, there's one up there? I didn't even realize. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... How did I not even see that one? Hmm. There we go. This block looks awfully suspicious. Nothing going on there, or what? There we go. I knew it. My, my collectible senses were tingling. Oh boy. Although it looks like something's in that upper left corner, I'm curious. Sorry, that was, again, me just like... I knew it, there is something up there. Why did I... Okay, I was getting distracted with just trying to investigate what's actually up there. Maybe I should just actually try to go up there. Let's do this. There we go. What do we have up here? What are these? I don't know what they are. I have no idea what they are or why they're important. Oh, I see. They pop when you hit the ground. Yeah, that's the whole point of them. I get it now, guys. I get it. Why can I not climb on top of this? That's got to be the last one, for sure. Darn. I Why did I do that? Okay. Let's do this here. No, oh, come on. All right. Darn. How am I going to manage to reset everything? I've clearly got to move from right to left here, right? Hmm. You know what? I've got an idea now, actually. That one I thought I'd have to save for last, I think, is actually not going to be the case. No! Oh, I, I can just wall jump there. What am I doing? What am I doing? No, that was not what I wanted to do. No, down that way. No! Darn. I will get this. I will get this. Why do I keep doing that? Alright, I'm just getting impatient. Whoa! <laughs> so they come together to form a strawberry. So that's going to explain a couple of the missing strawberries from earlier levels. Is this the B-side thing already, or what? Oh, this is the view guy, right? Oh my. So there's the B-side card, or whatever. Got quite a ways to go. So I'm gonna want to jump on this, and then quickly dash over there, and then... And then what? Dash up... There? Huh. Interesting. Well, we can give it a try, I guess. I'm just wondering, like, at that pink wall that I kind of got to is the last place I was at. Oh, interesting. So it won't show up if you're on it.
Gotcha. So that's part of what I need to do. I need to get on top of this. No, no, we were right at the end. I should have dashed. Okay, but that's that's the general idea. Nice. Quality attempt, Nick. Quality attempt. All right. Okay, why did I do that? Okay. Again, I don't know why I hesitated there. What am I doing? What, what am I doing? I had a plan, I had a strategy, and it was working fine. Why did I go back on it? Cool, that, that worked a lot better. I don't know what was going on. It was like, all of a sudden, everything I'd been doing was just like, well, you know what, that was working pretty well. Let's not do that anymore for some reason. Okay, so now we've got to head all the way back over there. Let's do this again. Why did I? Okay, we made it up here. There's a strawberry. Honestly, it's already been like 40 something minutes. I said I was gonna be more conscious of the time, so we're gonna continue chapter four. Uh, the Golden Ridge in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. The Chapter 3 boss fight was really exciting. The visuals are beautiful. This place is great. The music is wonderful. The platforming is fun. I'm having a blast with this game. I hope you guys are enjoying seeing the different levels, uh, potentially getting frustrated with me attempting certain things and, and messing up. But I hope you guys understand. And those of you that do enjoy that sort of thing are having a great time. But anyways, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.